my teenage years was in the years of uh, internet boom. Everybody was so excited about uh, internet and World Wide Web. It was very amazing because I could talk to people from all over the world. I could see things that uh, maybe were not possible. With it also came the enthusiasm for uh, knowing what's behind the monitor and what, uh, how actually all this is possible. I think your story is a bit different. The reason that I started to study computer science started from uh, secondary school. Uh, I was in a team of three students. Uh, we were trying to attend in a, a robotic competition. So I was the person who was uh, programming the microcontrollers. And when I was going to decide about the, uh, my, my next profession, next field of study, I decided to uh, go for computer science and exactly for algorithms and software engineering. For me, it was really important to study in a, a really famous and good and top ranking of the universities. So ETH was uh, one of these universities. What motivated me first was the computer science and especially because I knew I was going to study in visual computing, um, I realized that there are fantastic groups, a, a wide variety of uh, research groups uh, in computer vision in uh, ETH. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and many of the professors are uh, premiers in their fields and it's, it's such an honor and such a, a good opportunity for a student to be able to work with these professors. The city had also a very important uh, role in, in making the decision because it's very close to our home country and it's very easy to, to um, go and visit the family and it's also a very international city. Someone is going to do a master's, uh, ETH should be a very uh, strong candidate because uh, it covers a wide range of uh, fields. There are very many different research groups, so one can enjoy a selection of different topics to, for a course to study and also to be able to choose from different topics to go on in the future with a PhD program and uh, get to know um, actually many, many other people from other countries. And so it's amazing how international it is here. So, Mohammed, do you speak any German? Ja, natürlich. Ja. What about you? Ja, ich auch. <laughs> Or ich auch. Maybe it's a culture and cultural thing, but I feel that here in ETH, the distance between the professors and the students is less pronounced, and uh, you can easily call your professors by their first name. Whereas in Iran, we, we hold the distance. Here, I feel like I can I can be more personal and I can talk about the research more freely, and I get to meet the professors more often. It was really important and interesting for me. I mean, I was really surprised and happy when Professor Mayer was calling me by Mohammed. In the, during the lecture and also he was greeting me uh, in the morning and I don't know wherever uh, he sounds me and so it was really also important for me. Currently I'm working in, a, in my master thesis project. Uh, the title is Performance Profiles. As I'm working in a performance consultancy company in Switzerland, which is named Ad Hoc International, uh, and we are working for the uh, Swiss banks and also insurances. I decided also to do my master thesis project in this field and uh, it somehow relates uh, to the things that everybody can feel uh, during their life. For example, uh, you are going to pay, your, uh, pay a bill uh, via e-banking and you find out that it's really slow and uh, you have problems. So, uh, my job is to find uh, the performance problems and try to substitute uh, the applications with another one and guess what will happen. Uh, well, my project deals with uh, cameras and images and um, nowadays cameras are everywhere. So what I'm working on is um, uh, in the situation where you have a video of a moving object such as a car in the street and you would like to uh, reconstruct the 3D model of the car. This would be very cool if you have a video and then later on you would like to uh, reconstruct the whole, the whole scene and uh, see the car from another angle. So Goldo, should you defend your master thesis? What's your plan next? Uh, good question. Well actually, 
Uh, my professor saw the potential in, in what I did to make it a, into a publication, so I'll be working on it uh, during the summer. And uh, uh, during this time, I'll decide whether I would like to continue towards a PhD degree or uh, go into the industry, so I haven't decided yet. How about you? Uh, I'm actually already in this industry, so uh, I will continue that and I love to become a businessman. So uh, I will try to continue to have my own company and become a real famous businessman. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs>